Hey guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome cross watchers. And for those of you who are brand new here, happy to have you join us. Make sure you say hi in the comments. So I'm going to kick off the reading by pulling from a brand new deck. Here's a special treat um, from Colette Baron reed It is Guides of the Hidden Realms. Um, she just had the launch party um, and told the story how she was taking an art class with a friend and um, sort of went on her way to start to feel these creatures coming through. Um, she's decided that they are guides that had special messages and she just translated it on canvas and Hay House has put it into a deck, but of course they did. So let's see what your message is, and I'm going to read it right out of the guidebook for you. Oh, I love this card. It's one of my favorites. Card number 10, so that's about something completing energetically, numerologically speaking. It says, the eyes of mystery. Mystery, uncharted territory, and deep knowing. Look at that card. Whew. I know. It's um, interesting because as she showed the paintings, she moved them around. Like she had the real paintings there. She moved them around so we could see all the iridescence and the gold that she used, um, like metallic paints. So, so, so much depth to them. And in this particular card, that comes through the most, I think. Anyway, here's your message. The eyes of mystery remind you that the great mystery, the unknowable power of the divine, cannot be understood with the mind, but only felt as a fundamental truth. Humankind has long tried to decipher the secrets of the universe, yet filters all findings through an anthropomorphic lens. It's not due to faulty writing, wiring. The way we're made has distinct limitations of perception and perspective. We're invited to either trust in the unseen or to give away our power to materialism or intellectualism. Right now, you're looking for an answer that is as yet unknowable, either because it's still forming and coalescing in the hidden realms or because knowing in advance will rob you of an essential experience. You might try to push an agenda to feel more certain and secure but this is not a time to barge ahead or demand transparency. Oh, this is so Queen of Swords, right? Um, remain open to the adventure and stay curious and excited about what you may discover. Life is a journey of discovery, not one based on specific travel arrangements. You are on track even if the staircase is in fog and you're shown only the next step before you take it. Take it. This mysterious mystery, this mystery will be revealed in your favor. Let me repeat the last sentence because I completely mangled it. You are on track, even if the staircase is in fog and you're only shown the next step before you. Take it. This mystery will be revealed in your favor. Ugh, Laura, okay. So my eyes need to be checked. The eyes of mystery. This is uncharted territory. And you have to sort of trust your deep inner knowing that comes from your soul. Um, Queen of Swords is associated with the sign of Libra. And you've heard me speak of her, right? She's the truth seeker, truth teller. But it's based on getting information. And um, this card is trying to tell you that there's... There's a purpose to the mystery of it, to the not knowing of it. Um, it's part of the grand adventure. So stay curious. I love that for you. Okay, so I'm smiling and I don't even know why. Um, I'm going to go ahead, pull your spread, uh, give you the general impressions. I'm doing the split soulmate spread. So you can kind of come through reverse. Just take it as it resonates for you. It is a general reading, not a private reading, so it may not resonate for everybody. This King of Pentacles keeps showing up in all the readings. Um, yeah, we're focused on something in the here and now, something that is new, knowable and tangible and reliable and predictable or someone. 
um, who is, and here we go, Queen of Pentacles. I am definitely talking to um, a couple in 3D. Um, perhaps some very powerful spiritual connection. Yes. All right. <clears throat> I love that I said that tens are about completion. And this, your oracle card is card number 10, which then the zero drops off and it reduces to a one because in your pers person's blocker challenge, we have the 10 of wands, which is something that's so heavy that this person needs to kind of offload it. And you coming in here with Saturn, with that pressure, with um, something very heavy and um, fear producing, right? It just feels like your blocker challenge now is like everything feels like it's on the line and you are in uncharted territory. So overall energy is our king of pentacles. I'm going to clarify everything. Your person is, um, present energy is all about the queen of pentacles. So there we have it. Um, as I said, their blocker challenge is something that's just too much of a burden that they're kind of ready to put aside. It could be a release that comes as a great relief. It could be offloading some negative karma. Mm -hmm. And their opportunity going forward is to make the choice. What is it that they want in this connection? Do they choose that sacred bond? Um, so this lover's card can be about reunions and reconciliations, but more than anything, it is a card of choice. You want to get beyond the turbulence. You are ready to sort of move to calmer waters here. Um, and yet you're, you're dealing with something that could either be toxic or you have concerns about that. You might have some concerns about the negative karma that has been circling uh, the wagons on this connection, you could just have some egoic fears and resistance present or concerns about that of your person. And your opportunity in the future, two of pentacles, twos are about choices and decisions. So it's sort of telling you, you're going to have an opportunity to weigh the pros and cons, the realities on the ground, um, right? And you may find yourself torn or on the fence about the decision that you'll need to make. But since you want to get some peace of mind, I think that you have to begin with that and then let the journey, the mystery unfold. Um, if you can only see the next step in front of you, take it because it's leading you out of whatever um, difficult energy you're dealing with at present. So here we go. King of Pentacles. King of Swords, Queen of Cups, Seven of Pentacles. I do feel that this is, um, I'm not seeing a triangle at the moment. Could be, love triangle. Um, sometimes that happens. <laughs> and I'm just seeing that there's, the King of Swords is almost coming through as a byproduct of this King of Pentacles nature to sort of not say a whole lot, maybe not even be real approachable or, you know, warm or fuzzy, but there is a lot of openness um, from your perspective, a lot of compassion, a lot of sensitivity and some form of patience, things unfolding um, and evolving over time. This is taking time, whatever it's about, it's taking time. And it feels to me like you're coming through with Queen of Cups energy, but maybe up against, look at her looking right square at that King of Swords, you know, coming up against somebody who um, isn't gonna keep you in the loop all the time. And so it really depends on your ability to delay instant gratification to kind of like, right? I, I'm willing to wait. So let's see the Queen of Pentacles for your person. You know, I've been I've done a couple readings lately where third party themes came out later in the spread and I sort of had to 
double back and go through it again with that newfound information. It's kind of coming through here is that it might be the issue. Um, you might be dealing with somebody who is in another connection where there's a lot of conflict. This is your divine masculine here, part of this beautiful connection. You are queen of cups dealing with somebody who is um, committed elsewhere at the moment is sort of how it's coming through. And I feel like this person is somewhat guarded. There is some drama, um, tension. The five of wands can also be competition, right? So especially if we're talking about a third party situation um, and, you know, this is someone who's already got a life partner or is trying to get out of a relationship or a marriage or is dealing with an ex who's creating, wreaking a lot of havoc. That's sort of the thing I'm picking up. And you're coming in here with some um, open-hearted, compassionate, patient energy, but you have concerns, um, serious concerns. So let's see your person's blocker challenge, 10 of wands. <laughs> there you are. So we do have twin flame themes here. There's the queen of swords. Can't make it up, guys. Okay, so um, here's the dynamic between the two of you. Um, and there is a dynamic between your person and someone else that's creating a lot of drama. And so the blocker challenge for this person is in order to, to sort of unburden themselves, to sort of get the relief from bringing something to completion, um, something that has been very burdensome, very exhausting, very difficult to navigate. Their blocker challenge is they have to choose. They have to choose the path forward. Libra, queen of swords underneath, right? This person knows. You got questions. Like, what are you doing? What do you want? Um, and so this, I feel like this is someone who's got their back against the wall. And uh, their challenge right now is they have a very important path to choose. Um, they're not telling you about it or they're saying very little. Uh, King of Swords can kind of be a little distant that way. I won't say secretive, <clears throat> but how about parsimonious? The less is more approach. The less I say, the less trouble I get myself in, right? So I'm only gonna give my Queen of Cups just enough information, right? To keep, to keep the lid on all, on the proverbial pot. And so that's putting you in an awkward position, right? Um, let's see, the lovers is their opportunity. Ace of Wands, Five of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. Yes, because after the 10, what did I say? The zero drops off and we go back to the Ace, right? And that's that divine gift of inspired passion, motivation, inspiration, do it, do it now, take that step, make that choice. Um, the five of pentacles almost come in through reverse. Like once they make the choice, then they're sort of not in no man's land anymore. The stability returns. Um, they don't feel so um, judged or there's no more concerns about um, stability, right? It's, it's feeling like it's coming through reverse with that ace of sword underneath, like, oh, all I had to do was make this choice and choose the one I love. And all the passion comes back, meaning their own internal sense of power, because this is very disempowering. In reversed energy, we come through that destabilizing, um, un, you know, insecure and it could even be that this person there could be financial issues 
in the mix. Just, just wanted to kind of let you know that because this situation may be that it's a difficult choice for this person to make because the drama may involve um, their own financial stability as well. So I'm seeing the Five of Pentacles in reverse energy because part of the opportunity for this person is to make the choice and then they're gifted um, the insight, the passion, the inspiration, the motivation um, to kind of get back in the game of, of their own life. So for you, Six of Swords, the world, <laughs> justice, Yes, this is a Libra reading for sure. Seven of Cups. Um, yeah, I just feel like you can't deal with all the mixed messages, the highs, the lows, a lot of emotional overwhelm and confusion. And there's the world card, which is Saturn. And essentially, <clears throat> Saturn is, yes, um, the great teacher, the Lord of Karma, the planet that marks time and cycles. And it feels to me like um, you're really, really ready to close out a difficult, confusing, emotionally disruptive, maybe somewhat negatively, karmically charged cycle and have that new beginning um, that restores a sense of balance, harmony, um, levels the playing field here. So you're not odd man out, if that makes sense. So I can see how you're presenting. You're patient right now, but for how long is the question? The devil is your blocker challenge. Wow. It sure is interfering. I, I don't know whose devil energy it is though. Um, well, it's yours because it's in your blocker challenge. But what I'm saying is, I'm not sure if it's coming from an internal reference for you or if it's just the nature of the situation the karmic challenge that you've been dealing with throughout this, whatever it is you're experiencing here. But look, communication between you and, you know, needing this person's vulnerability, needing them to kind of put you first, to show up with, you know, and romance you, to give you the benefit of their emotional vulnerability, maturity, availability, all of that. Because that's, you know, from the bottom of the deck. So it's like it's in your unconscious awareness that that's a conversation that needs to take place. But the blocker challenge is, um, nope, goes this way, is that there's some darker force that's presiding over all of it. So it could be your fear um of things not going in your favor that's part of the eyes of mystery card is you got to kind of trust the process um and not live in the fear of some some dark some dark energy or some negative karma uh especially if it doesn't belong to you right don't don't harp on or internalize someone else's negative energy don't take ownership of that because it's getting in the way it's interfering for sure so let's see the two of pentacles your opportunity yeah a choice a decision is are we ever going to have, is there ever going to be a, a nice, easy give and take, or should I just fly solo? Um, I do feel that you'll overthink it. It's a big decision to make, but the opportunity is to make the decision, is to assess the pros and cons. Is this someone who's, like, are we ever going to have 
something more than a one-sided relationship here because it's feeling to you very one-sided you you are not getting what you need from this person not in communication because they're giving you kind of very little bits to go on they're certainly not showing up with all their emotions on display their heart on a silver platter no 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 there's something darker at work here and the devil can represent karmic energy so it could just be that this karmic you know three-party scenario is not working in your favor um, or you don't feel it is that is your perception is that it's not that's why you're confused and trying to move on beyond beyond it wanting this cycle to close out and so for you it will be a decision that you make based on what you're really dealing with and if you think you're ever going to have somebody who's invested in the connection and can give as well as they receive it's a card of reciprocity and generosity and I do think that you will go around and around in your mind on this because you're going to have self-doubt. You're going to second guess it. You're, you know, the eight of swords sometimes over processes things on a mental level when what you're being guided here to do is to sort of um, get out of your own way, get out of the prison of your own making. What are the realities you're dealing with? Because that's the only step that's in front of you. Take that step. Make that decision. That's your opportunity. So, and that can be difficult because you realize, well, if I'm going to kind of go it alone, that's a big decision. But sometimes we have to give people the space they need so that they don't feel the weight of the world on their shoulders so you sort of um, take the pressure off the table and then you get to observe from a safe vantage point how they respond in that situation. Um, but again, it's a decision that once made um, kind of sort of takes on a life of its own. So that's what I'm seeing so far. I am going to take this to the extended. Before I give you the astrology, let me tell you, we're going to look at this King of Pentacles Emperor person. Um, that's the focus of the extended. And um, mainly to kind of see how they're navigating things and what they're really up against. This is just a you know very broad take on it. How they see you and think about you, feel about you. What are their intentions toward you? Um... Yeah, that's what we're going to do in the extended. The links are below for that. Be sure that you know there's two different options. One says one-time purchase. That's for this extended only. The Libra monthly gives you a monthly renewal option and access to four um, collections. That's important to know, okay? And before I give you the astrology, um, if you are enjoying my readings, if you've been a viewer for some time and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe below. And I've been telling everybody, so if you already heard this spiel, there have been um, some changes in the algorithm, which happens, right? That's the nature of these platforms. And the focus now is on new channels and um, shorts. And as a result, many of us, I'm not the only one, have seen significant drops in our videos being recommended, being put in front of new viewers. So when your views go down, uh, you got to kind of scramble, right? So anything you can do to help a girl out, um, watch another video that you didn't watch. Um, watch one that you watched a while back and see what the message has to say. It is views that get channels in front of new viewers. It is subscribers that help build the momentum. So that is my ask. Um, I don't enjoy having to say these things, but it's a fact. This is what I do for a living. This is my work and it's what I'm called to do. And yet I can't, if I can't support myself, I can't be here. So I am asking for your support on that level. Views and subscribe. That's the drill. Okay, here we go. King of Pentacles is Taurus, King of Swords, Aquarian energy. Queen of Cups is Cancerian energy. We are in Cancer season. Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, but of course, um, we have the 
emperor is Aries. The empress is Venus, which rules Taurus and Libra. Lovers is Gemini. Oh, I forgot to say, Queen of Swords is Libra. Okay, I knew she was there. The world is Saturn, Aquarius, and Capricorn. Justice is Libra. The devil is Capricorn. Our Knight of Cups is Pisces. We have a little Virgo energy here in our Nine of Pentacles as well. So that's what I have for you guys. Um, thanks for being with me, and I'm headed to the extended now, so I'll see you there. Bye.